Okay, so you got to see that. I think I have the wrong hat on. Wrong hat, wrong hat. Let me put it on the, on the green side since so I'm wearing Thomas and Cara these days. Or on this t shirt. There we go. There we go, because we're talking modern revolution, which is different than past revolution. Because we're in a modern era, you know, we, we've been through the industrial revolution, whatever pre food and then whatever we're supposed to post, whatever it is. Yeah. So we have technology, a bunch of other things working with us. Ah, uh, ooh, tea. Hot tea. Ooh, it's a mix of a bunch of, oh, ooh, I won't tell you what happened. Um, a couple of things happening. Um, it was announced, it was announced someplace, somewhere, somehow, sometime, somewhere, uh, that there's some sort of, the um, Sheila Jackson, the congressional people, Congressional Black Caucus, I guess it is, um, they're trying to do something, talk something about rep reparations. So they, they announced it, like, a week, when I'm within a week, they announce something. Hey, you know how black folks used to do it, like sometimes we always do, you know, you announce something, and then what happens is uh, you announce it like two days before, you put out the publicity two days before it happens, and you say, oh, people didn't show up, and the people do show up because oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so part of the crew that's supposed to be invited to this Congressional Black Caucus, I guess that's what it is, a uh, hearing, I guess it's a hearing, chat. Is a one of the people's Danny Glover. Now let me tell you, Danny Glover. Most of us, when I say us, I mean Danny Glover is of my generation. Okay, maybe he's a couple of years older than what doesn't matter. Um, uh, but of my generation, and many of us has done many of things, you know. And we're famous for many of things back in the day, like what, you know. But the question is, what have you done for me lately? You know, that's the whole thing, you know? So, for, for instance, Danny's, no, no, you, you know him from movies or whatever. I know Danny Glover, personally. I admire Danny Glover because um, when the uh, upheavals in the 60s happened, I'm talking about college campus he, he, upheavals. I'm not talking about uh, in, this, in, the, in, the, in the trenches, you know, in, in, on the streets or any place else, or even with even with the, the powers that be, they, they, they they start to do some revolutionary things too, as far as their their concerns about getting money and, and solidifying certain things that they had put in place. Anyway, anyway, there there was a the thing in France, you know, it started in cinema actually, interesting enough. There was a cinema in France and, and something happened and people wanted to shut it down and they were protesting. So that came on the university campus because it was sponsored by the university there, whatever it was. Then then so that happened. So you had this upheaval of university students in France, right? And that, and that at the same time, shortly after or shortly about the same time, you had an upheaval in Mexico City, you know. And at the same time you had San Francisco State. College up there in well in the Bay Area, which is where Danny Glover and, and well the Panthers and them were hanging out. You know, in fact, let me tell you something. This since we're in these melee way, you know when uh, when when Blazing Saddles came out, it was, it was Blazing Saddles. I have it here. Come on, don't disappoint me. Oh, here it is. When Blazing Saddles came out. Blazing Saddles. It's Blazing Blazing Saddles. If you, okay, read Ishmael Reed, okay, early Ishmael Reed, right, or even late Ishmael Reed, right, and then you realize that when Richard, before he came back, remember, Richard did Watts, but Richard was, well, right before he came with the big album, Watts Daxis was first. When Richard came back to the scene, right, he had just, and Watts Daxis was the first thing, which is Watts Daxis, the film, okay, the it's a documentary, you'll find it, W-A-T-T-S-T-A-X-X, -X, whatever it is. Um, uh, Richard had just come from the Bay Area, and he was hanging out with the likes of Ishmael Reed and and um, and uh, what uh, uh, Quincy Troop, uh, uh, you know, Danny Glover, that Danny Glover crowd up there, you know. And so when he came back and he changed his style, told the stories, he got it from them. But if you if you read an Ishmael Reed who was in that clip, then you will understand, especially when Count Basie appears in the film, right? Uh, you'll understand. Well. That's really Ishmael Reed, not Richard Pryor. Well, Richard Pryor is one of the people that wrote this film. Okay, he was supposed to be the black bark the sheriff, but you know, they wasn't having it because Richard was kind of handful, right? Anyway, I made this long. I don't know why. 
because I have to tell you this, because that's what I know Damian Glover from, right? From San Francisco, from San Francisco State College, uh, protesting then, and then, then that hit all over. Then you have you had Columbia, I was at Bronx Community College, yeah, all over, you know, students protesting. But what, what they were protesting for, what we was protesting for at San Francisco State College, as well as Bronx Community College, where I was at, as well as a bunch of other places, is that black students, they were, they were uh, protesting for, to get black more, black teachers, academics into the system, teaching black people black things, okay? That was important, okay, at least to get some people in, because out of that, then we get something like a Sandy Diary. You know what I mean? I assume he started his academic career about right back there in the 60s. I'm assuming I'll, I'll check that later. Anyway, Sandy Diary and his wife, they all came on at that, that time, so they were in academia, so they're fighting everything. Uh, Danny and them, you know, they fought a certain thing, but now he has gone on as an activist, or all kinds of cause, they call him, or whatever. Right here in South Africa, when I was in Cape Town, he came down with the, he's long been with the unions. But look, look, in fact, I went to a, a, an event at the Union Hall, right there on, 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 on uh, Upper Main Road, by the, um, in the uh, Salt River section. I mean, there's a union, big union hall, and I saw him there, you know what I mean? I was going to, you know, wait around, try to talk to him personally, because, you know, American, whatever, but I didn't do it. Right? But you can tell whatever have you, spouting the union lines, but they tell him whatever have you. Here's what happens when you go to these folks. And you have to understand, especially unions in South Africa, Oh, most unions, I'm going to say all unions, okay? The problem with, you, with unions is you get the bosses, you get these layers, and then they act, they start acting like the boss. The, 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 you know what I mean? They don't really do the biddings of the union union. That's why you have these people like, I don't want to get into the union thing. But so Danny's known for that. Now, so why, and plus Danny is a noted uh, Pan-African, so I'm pan Africanist too, you know? Well, right now I'm the ATO said, but he's a pan African. Here's the problem with Pan Africans right now: they're Pan Africans, but they. But if you don't want to have an ADO's head, if you don't want to uh, uh, an ADOS, if you don't want to be the tip of the spear that ADOS is right now, then just keep on being a Pan Africanist. What's the problem? You know what I mean? But now they're going to take something that that deals with reparations or ADOS situation and put a Pan Africanist in that conversation, put other people that are not ADOS in that conversation, and that's what the Congress does. <laughs> So they can say something was done. Ah, it doesn't work. Well, here's the other thing. That I was um, interested in. And uh, 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 T. West, you know, Black Synergy, um, Black Synergy, Afro Synergy, put up, he has a post now. It's about John Lewis. Again, John Lewis, you know, back in the day, you know, I get beat on the head on the bridge, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but hey, since then, you know what I mean? How many other black people got beat on the head on a bridge, you know? And also, you know, uh, in the streets, in the, in the, in the, in the you know, law, enf law enforcement facilities, whatever have you. So getting to be head be I know, blah, blah, blah. But that, thing, how, what have you done for me lately? You're up there all up into, into LGBTQ, you're all up into immigration, you know. But aren't you in Atlanta? What's that? Does Atlanta have an immigration problem? Have LGB oh, yeah, LGBT, okay. Okay, I understand. When I hear about Atlanta, you know, I guess you're LGBT. You know, it's fine. But before you're LGBT, before you're, but you are black. You are, you are in an American descendant of chattel slavery. And if you're not advocating for American descendant of chattel slavery, first, I'm not saying you don't do LGBTQ or, or, or immigration or, I don't know, whatever you got, but first on the agenda, you know, you got one, two, three, you're first on the agenda. You know, when you link, when you link all your colleagues in the thing and protesting something, why aren't you linking and protesting about reparations? See, that kind of thing. So, um, so what are we saying? We're saying, what have you done for me lately? It doesn't matter what they do, okay. Look, uh, Yvette and them uh, uh, say that the, the, uh, the old folks, they should get out the way, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, and that's true. That's the, you, you, you. We're in an advisory thing, or better still, you know what I mean? I, 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 I should be cornering Danny and saying, <laughs> sit down. Somebody's in Danny's crowd. It's gonna, Danny, sit down. Down! Don't go for this. Don't go for this. Don't don't follow us. No, man, you're not talking about this. You know what I mean? Uh, not, okay, you understand what I'm saying. So we got to get it all together. You know, again, now to the end of June, we come to the end of June. You know, let's flush all these people. I'm glad it's happening now. Let's flush all these people. Get, get it straight. Who's doing what? Da 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 da. And then starting in July through through the time of the of the first inaugural ADOS conference, that's where you get serious. Say. So, we got to get serious. We, that means uh, you and me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the H-D-O-S. That would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery.